Um, Mr. President, this is really heartwarming. First, I'd like to thank uh, the sponsor and the author, Senator Risa, for filing this bill. I really appreciate it, especially with what I've gone through. You know, many ask um, what I feel about running for the presidency in 2016 and losing. And I say that, you know, there are many different reasons why we do things in life. And we don't necessarily feel a loss if we don't achieve it, because there are other things that we may achieve by it. And I think that having uh, ran for president, this issue was somehow discussed on foundings. And uh, as much as possible, there was clarity that was given to it with the Supreme Court decision, although it is important to clarify it even more with the law. And so this is really important, uh, not just to me, but the hundreds of foundings in our country who, if you follow the, the wording of the law, may, may still encounter some difficulties, um, not, just, not just running for public office, but even serving as lawyers, as doctors, as teachers, because you have to be a natural born Filipino citizen. So I would like to thank, going back to the following colleagues that I, that I have here and also in the past Congress, Senator, uh, our Senate President, Tito Soto, uh, Senator Villar, Senator Pia Cayetano was somehow like a tiebreaker, Senator, former Senator Lauren Legarda, who will hopefully join us soon, Senator Bam Aquino as well, who hopefully will join us again. Uh, all of you have helped me actually continue this privilege of being able to serve in the Senate. If not for your vote, if one of you didn't vote uh, to, to support this, I wouldn't be here today. So to all of you, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. I will never forget it.